you look closely, these are the Stillen Gen 3 exhaust. Not exhaust, the intake. Those are the intakes. Still in Gen 3 intakes I'm going to put in. So pretty stoked about that. And so we're going to wait for that to come through. Alright, so I'm going to remove this and that. Those intakes, those stock intakes for the uh, Stellan G or Gen 3s. So, alright guys, so um, right now, go ahead and remove this brace off. We're actually going to go ahead and remove the stock intakes right here and here. And uh, by doing so, I'm going to remove this brace off. So that will probably help um, with insulation better. So, but first, before we all do that, once we do that, the next step would be uh, to remove the bumper. And uh, even before all of that, we're going to remove the, uh, the negative connection from the battery all right guys so uh it's freaking hot in arizona so that's why i'm all sweaty but um <laughs> i had a huge delay because this huge ass bug came out of nowhere it's like this big like big as my hand palm actually what the freak is that <laughs> close the garage <laughs> and um yep here's the parts so we'll see how it goes Alright. You see this box right over here? That's my Fast Intentions exhaust waiting to be installed in this car. So the next step after removing the battery is to take off the bumper itself and also the uh, brace. So yeah, this and that.
Alright, so at this point I am going to install the mass airflow sensors into the uh, Stillen Gen 3 intakes uh, from the uh, stock ones right here. So, uh, yeah. Um, before that, I'm gonna probably going to spray and clean with any dust or wind and any debris inside of this since I got this used. And then, yeah, so on and so forth. So, I was a little surprised to see this little guy actually. And apparently, uh, something to increase efficiency as well as um, acts as a resonator. So, yeah, that's gone. Okay. Alright, so uh, I'm going to be removing these. There you go. Uh, just this little piece right here that's behind this thing that we're gonna actually file down in Dremel um, held by one bolt and uh, this little clip here actually same on this side and then actually we're gonna have to uh, stabilize or uh, reinforce this with some sort of a rubber uh, thing what I'm gonna do is actually use this piece here cut it in a certain piece cut it in half roll it uh, wrap it around and then uh, use zip ties to uh, keep it in place did was uh, initially I was doing a, an electric drill and uh, that battery was dying and so I went with a, um, a compression powered one and did the job so look over here so I did about that much of a, a surface down or cut down right here uh, so the intakes can fit in same on this side and then uh, what I'm going to do is Gets, um, get some tubing actually and uh, wrap it around here to protect the AC lines. All right. So uh, that's the hose wrapped around and zip tied together and it looks pretty good. Alright so at this point and it's been it's, it's about 1 a.m. and then I started around 8 p.m. actually uh, but I guess I was just really taking my time, just wanted to make sure everything is correct and you know everything is um, placed correctly. So, uh, in any case, so um, here it is. So there it is. Just test fitting it right now. Not too shabby. It looks pretty good. Alrighty. All right. So I finally got these uh, intakes installed around 2:30 a.m. I'm just I was just being really picky about how it's placed. So that's why it took so long to get like them down too. So they're all tightened down probably all. Also some of the uh, clamps were kind of messed up. Okay, that one right there. So I had to put in one of the uh, OEM um, fastener brakes or brackets, whatever those are. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got to the point where I liked it. We'll see how it runs. Very good. Oh,
apologize. It's a little bit. It's it's the middle of the night when I actually just finished this, so it's uh, it's in my garage and it's um it's gonna be dark in here basically. And we'll see how it is during the day and see. Hopefully everything looks all a okay and it looks okay. So I tested it out earlier and it ran great. Didn't give any issues. Didn't uh, didn't stop. It didn't give me any any uh, warning lights or anything of that of that sort. So everything's all good. And it looks way better than stock. I definitely notice a, a difference in sound, but um, definitely feels maybe there's some some power in there because we know that the dynos show that there is an increase of 18 horsepower with these intakes. We'll see how it, how it works in the next couple of days, and I'll see how it is and see if there's a reaction or see if there's any uh, any increased power. So just finished the uh, intake installation and I uh, just wanted to show it to you, the uh, finished product. So there it is. <laughs> and the lumber's all on again. Everything's installed back it was, back as it was. So um, can't speak English after working on it for so long. So um, right after this, I'm just gonna go ahead and move some cars around and then uh, pass out. So, all right, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.